Hello everyone, Marissa Hill here, and we are going to be talking to some actors from the film Ghost Light. And of course, we've got the perfect mother and daughter duo here with me, Tara and Catherine. I'm so excited for you to be at Sundance. How exciting is this to be at such a prestigious film oh, it's festival? It's amazing. So exciting. Yeah. It's really uh, it's surreal. Yes. It's a little <laughs> surreal. We just filmed the movie. We the wrapped two October 31st. Ago. Oh, two, two yes. months ago. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Yes. And then Kelly, our, our, one of our co-director, and ours gave birth. Gave birth? Yes. What? Yes, she yeah. had a baby four, five weeks ago. Okay, I have to stare at her for a second. I know. There's no way. I know. I know. She gave birth to a child. Yes. Milo. Seriously? Yes. And it makes you kind of want to hit her. So I love the dynamic already on yeah. the carpet that you guys are giving each other. Yeah. How was it working as a family unit? Well, we're missing the, the, the papa. Key. Yeah. I know. We're missing yeah. daddy. He's That's at okay. Work. It's girls. He's it's right ladies' now, carpet. <laughs> exactly. Today, right? It's ladies' <laughs> night, I guess you could say. So you guys are going to have some fun basically yes. without him. Yes. yes. I always say that when I'm just with my mom. I'm like, Mom, we're going all out tonight. We're going to go shopping. Dad's going to be upset, but it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter. But I love your fashion, by the way. I have to start with this. Where where did you get these boots? Um, I got these boots from my aunt, Tracy. Aunt uh, Tracy. She, she was supposed to be here put tonight, but she was unable to. Where they came from? Uh, they originally came from my cousin Prudence. Oh, who, this is like passed down. So, well, they were from Prudence to Tracy, and then Tracy said, I think you can wear them, Catherine. <laughs> so these are the, yep, the boots. So you just all have to be the same size randomly too? Yeah, it turns out. No, they have gigantic feet. Huge feet. Oh. And I'm kind of short. I'm, fi I'm only five, four and a half, and then I have size 10 feet. So no way. Yeah, you know, no I always over, had the opposite so. problem playing volleyball. I had really small feet, so my yeah. teammates would ask me and make fun and be like, "How are you standing? <laughs> How do you hold your weave? Like you cannot knock yeah. her over." I, <laughs> it's great. You're stable, girl. You got that support system, especially yes. in acting. She'll never fall. That's right. You'll you have literally very, stable. very sta yes. that should go on your resume. Very <laughs> That'll be stable. very stable feet. <laughs> Thank you, mom and dad. <laughs> I must come from her dad because it's, well, I don't know. About, well, I, probably I have, from your side. I have what eight, size and a half, eight and a half. That's average. Because I'm a nine, and yeah. I feel like women are, I have a sneaker channel, so I know women's sizing. But you're it's tall. really weird. I am very tall, but I have no torso, so when I sit, I'm a munchkin. I can't see over a steering wheel. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> I need like a booster seat. Yeah. My friends always make fun of me. I'm like, can we not take pictures sitting down? Yeah. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. Yeah. So what was one of the funnest scenes that you played as a family together? Some quirky, oh. fun moments. Uh, we okay. have different favorites. So, okay. I know what hers is. <laughs> so I have two favorites, actually. I think one of my favorites is, and it gets a little serious, I would say, but uh, I always had a blast filming the dinner scene when I try to drink the champagne. And then my other, my probably <laughs> My number one is when I am vaping outside. Oh, she's vaping. Okay. And my parents are standing there, and I like hit a car. It, it's oh, it and was, you hit a car. Oh my god, it was so it was so. Oh, okay, hands. okay, yes. okay, got yes. it. And I screaming. It was like so much fun because my parents couldn't be like Catherine. Don't do that. That's yeah. inappropriate. You know? That's amazing. They couldn't say anything. Like All that. the f bombs she got to drop. Oh, how and fun! In yeah. Front of them, so and now in real life, you can say, Mom, I'm just practicing. That's right. I'm at <laughs> Mom, this is rehearsal, line. right? I mean, exactly. She had, a, she had the most amazing set teacher. Yeah. And who was horrified by the vaping and all that. Really? Yes. yes. Oh, God. That was not. It wasn't good. It and wasn't what, good. What, what's your pet peeve with Mom and Dad? Like, what drives you crazy about oh. them? I know you have a couple, so we got to yeah, hear it. So. <laughs> and, Mom, you're going to go next, so it's, it's okay. Yeah. So, um, I think on set, my mom would yell at me constantly for not staying in character when the camera wasn't rolling. She would say, she would be like, Catherine, you have to stay in character so that you're prepared. Or like, she, they would be like coaching me, like they would be telling me what to do. Or my dad would go on these tangents. That's the one thing about my dad. dad he tries to tell me something and then he goes on tangents. And I'm like, well, this is not helpful anymore. So those are my two pet peeves while filming. Your turn. Okay. You get Ka to go. Uh, <laughs> it's only fair. Catherine would get annoyed with me for staying in character. <laughs> because it's annoying. Because she's you know, sitting there. And I would sit by myself. It wasn't like I would do it to anybody else, <laughs> right? Yeah. I would be by myself because there was some intense, there's some intense emotional right. stuff. Yeah. So I would have to sit by myself and just stay quiet because 
I was gonna have to cry again in 30 seconds. And she would come over and start joking around to me and I'm like, I- Don't make I, me laugh, I need to be sad. Not helpful to me at the moment. And she's like, oh, it's so, oh, that's so stupid. Why are you doing that? And I'm like, oh my God, go away. <laughs> go away. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thank, thank you so, so much. So excited for the we're film. So, we're so yes, grateful so, to be here, so, <laughs> so, so excited. You look amazing, go have oh, fun tonight. Thank, thank, you. thank you. So uh, my name is Afram Slaj, I'm with Shea TV. We're here at Sundance, the uh, 40th anniversary. Yeah. And uh, the co-directors of uh, Ghostlight. So, uh, can you guys tell me maybe a little bit about what co-directing is like? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think I think there's like a misunderstanding uh, or a miss. Um, what's the word? Misconception that like co-directing means you've got like 50 percent. One person's doing this. One person's yeah. doing this. But it was it was really for us like like each of us bringing a hundred percent of ourselves. Um, so we essentially like align on the vision, the overall vision. And then we sort of made a rule that like we weren't going to compromise when possible. So if Kelly felt really strongly about something, I step out of the way. If I feel really strongly about something, Kelly, I don't want to say steps out of the way, but. No, but I, we would defer to each other, yeah. depending yeah, yeah. on how strong our points of view were about a certain moment. Yeah. And co-directing is really lovely because you have somebody to turn to and be like, what do you think? And collaborate with, and you don't feel so alone because yeah. directing can feel very lonely. Um, and very, I can feel very unsure of myself, and it was really great at the end of the day to be able to be like, I think that was, I think we got it. Did we get it? And you were like, Yeah, absolutely. It's kind of like if you could drive a car with two steering wheels, and so like you feel a little, you're like a little off, and but there's always this other person who's like, exactly. I got this. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, how long have you two been working together? Seven years? Yeah. Throwing that number out. I, I don't know if that's so. true. Yeah, our first film that we did together, we made it in 2018. Right. So we've been sort of working together before then, but that was the first Six time years. that we had collaborated in that way. Um, and then, you know, we're partners in life too, and that's been almost eight years. Eight years, actually. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah, yeah you too. <laughs> congratulations. Yeah, good work. <laughs> um, uh, I just have one more question. Uh, why did you choose, for example, construction worker? Uh, going into Romeo and Juliet. Is there something based on, uh, you know, a real story or that you grab yeah. from in real life? Or For me, it was about somebody who in their job doesn't get to have any sort of emotional expression. That okay. there's, no, yeah. there's not really a creative release for him. And I wanted his job to have a cacophony of really uh, deafening sound so that when he walks into the theater and it's quiet and it's intimate mm -hmm. and it's it feels softer that it's a real difference from his world which is just you know harsh equipment everywhere and like ears ringing to then moving into a place of softness and expression okay all right sounds good congratulations thank you, thank you. and uh all right yes of course thank you <laughs>